Rock, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? How you man. doing on AP Kim 2? I got another not yet today, man. Oh, oh me too. too. Was that periodic trends objective? Yeah, man. Bruh, you guys to know the periodic trends. It's a periodic trend. It's a periodic trend. Singing, it's time for me to rap. A periodic trend, I don't mean to offend. It's better than the first, not radius crap. Take an electron, ionization. So you got an atom with a valence E. To take one of them out, you'll need some energy. So it's easiest if you only got one. It's gonna be harder if you got to take a ton. So take a look at the table of the elements. We got a trend for you, so it'll make sense. At the left, you got few electrons, so it's not gonna take much exertion. But at the right, those E's put up a fight. It takes some energy before they take flight. So from low to high, and from left to right, a slanted arrow, you are gonna write. Radius and ionization energy. Now for trend number three, you are about to see the ability to attract an E, the definition of electronegativity. Atoms always want, if possible, to have gases noble, a full orbital. In the state, they are most stable. Getting electrons, they're unable. So gases closest to the nobles be the ones with high electronegativity. As you go from group 18 further away, electronegativity decays from the bottom of the table to the top. The energy you need gets bigger. It doesn't stop. If you think we ain't the greatest, then you pretend you don't know us, Stanish. It's a periodic trend.